I went to um, see Evgeny Afanevsky's film, um, Winter on Fire, Ukraine's Fight for Freedom. Yeah, one of our writers actually wrote uh, an article about that. She actually spoke to the director. So I'd love to hear your uh, perspective <laughs> of the movie. Definitely. Um, I thought that the movie was beautifully done. The director and filmmaker of Jenny Abinevsky definitely captured the crisis in a way that hasn't been seen before. Mm -hmm. I feel that oftentimes people watch the news and they see one perspective from the media. However, seeing a film, seeing reality, is completely different. It really, it really exposes you to another perspective and you then understand the severity of what is going on in Ukraine. Mm -hmm. I thought that the protests that he showed, ultimately what happened is from 2013 to 2014, a lot of the Ukrainian youth, Ukrainian people, children, everyone gathered to, to fight for Ukraine. Ultimately, Yanukovych, who is the president, failed to make Ukraine a member of the European Union, as he promised. And as a result of that, people decided to engage in peaceful protest. And instead of allowing people to have that freedom of speech, and instead of allowing youth to engage in voicing their opinions, they were penalized by the Berkut Police Special Department Force. And what that police force did is they brutalized, they attacked, they harassed women, children, Ukrainian youth, Ukrainian people as a whole just for voicing their opinion and just for wanting Ukraine to be a member of the European Union. What was the main uh, message of the film? The main message of the film was that Ukraine is strong. Ukraine has a lot of people who are united. A lot of the youth, a lot of the community is in unity. And they, they strongly believe in standing up for what they believe in. And they're not afraid to voice their opinion because they know the difference between what's right and what's wrong and ultimately the main message is that you should never fear your government if you've been promised one thing and then what happens is that promise is not delivered or that promise was a deceit you should do everything in your power peacefully to resolve the issue. And you should never have the fear that as a result of voicing your opinion, you will be brutalized or attacked. One of the other messages in the film was the fact that the president, Yanukovych, not only lied, Ukrainian people wanted, they, to this day they want a democracy. They want our, the government to be similar to the government in, in, Western, in the Western world, not the government that's in Russia. And because Ukraine is in a location and in a position where they're right next to Russia, they're impacted and ultimately Yanukovych alliance and his his prior negotiations with Putin has impacted millions of people and this has resulted in the pain and suffering of too many people, too many lives have been lost. And ultimately what director and filmmaker Evgeny Avanesky did is he portrayed that, he exemplified that suffering. He wanted, he wanted everyone to see the power of the youth and the influence that unity can have on this world. 
So something that the viewers can also know is that the movie is going on Netflix in October. So everyone at home can also watch the movie.